If you want to know how to add AI voiceovers to your designs in Canva, then in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now, the AI voice app that you can use with Canva is called Murph AI. Now, Murph.ai is a separate company from Canva. But they've partnered with Canva to allow you to use their voiceovers with your Canva designs. Now, it's important to know that, yes, you can use the free plan of Murph AI, even with the free plan of Canva. Free, free, free. And you can use your voiceovers with your Canva designs. However, there is a limit to the amount of minutes you'll be able to generate with the AI voices on the free plan, which I believe is about 11 minutes. And you'll also only be able to use the basic voices of Murph, not the pro voices. So depending on how long your presentations and videos need to be in Canva and also the quality of the voices that you need will depend on if the free plan of Murph is good enough for you or if you need to upgrade to the pro plan. Now, unfortunately, if you connect your Canva account to the free plan of Murph AI, then you're only going to be able to listen to and use the basic voices. However, I've left the link in the description below this video where you can come to this page here and click on this button, Open Studio, to open the free plan directly in Murph, and then you'll be able to listen to both the pro and the basic voices, so you can then see which quality of voices are best for you. So when you come to this page, click on Open Studio, and then you'll come to this page where you just need to enter an email and a password to sign up for free, you don't need to enter a credit card. Then you'll be logged into the Murph AI Studio, and you'll be able to listen to all the voices, the pro and the basic, so you can see which are best for you. So again, that link is in the description below this video. Now, once you've signed up for a free Murph.ai account, the easiest way to connect it to Canva is just to leave it open in one window and then open Canva in another window. And there's a couple of ways you can connect it. It's really easy. So first way is if you're on your home page, come to apps and in the search bar, search for Murph. And here you have the option for Murph and you can either connect it immediately, use it in an existing design or use it in a new design. Alternatively, you can first select your project. So presumably you're going to want to use Murph in Canva for either presentations or videos. So if we select presentations and I'm going to go to create a presentation and if I just choose a template from here, let's just go with this one, the pitch deck. And here we can see this presentation has 16 different slides. So if I click on apply all 16 pages, it's going to pull them all in to the editor. And now to connect Murph AI, because I'm already logged in on another window in my free Murph account, I'm actually using a paid account, by the way, of Murph. This works if you're using free or paid plan. And then come to apps in the left menu. And then from the search bar, select Murph. And Murph will appear here. And now we can open Murph directly in the Canva editor. Then lets you know that Murph wants to connect to your Canva account. Click connect. Now, because I'm already logged in in Murph AI in another browser, I can just click this button here to connect straight away. And now here's my Murph plan showing here in the Canva editor. If I click on this, now Murph has opened in my Canva editor and it's given me a few voices I can select from straight away, but I have access to all the voices. Because I'm on the pro plan, I can use all 120 voices. But if you're on the free plan, you've still got a good amount, but it's not quite as many. And of course, the voices aren't quite as good as the pro. But regardless, if you're using the free plan or the pro plan, the features are the same besides that. So you can still choose from a range of different voices and different accents. And that doesn't change. You've still got the same access on the free or the pro plan and also you'll have the ability to adjust voices by changing the style if you want a conversational voice or casual formal sad angry and so on and you can also speed up or slow down the voice and change the pitch as well so all that is exactly the same as the free plan or the pro plan of Murph AI the only difference is with free you only get 11 minutes of voice generation whereas in the pro plan as you can see here you get four hours and eight minutes and of course, you get access to more advanced, more human sounding voices with the pro. Now here we can see there's three voices selected for us already. But if I click on this see all, it's going to show me all the voices that I can use. Now, these are all the American English voices, American Canadian. If I change this to English UK, it's going to change it to different voices here. And we've got male and female and some kids voices as well. And you can listen to a sample of any of the voices you like. So if I click on this guy, Hugh, let's listen to what his voice sounds like. We believe in positive heroism, accomplishing more by doing the right thing. And when you back your beliefs in action. So he's got a great voice, that guy. Let's listen to this one, Hazel. Promotional ads are everywhere. While watching a video, streaming music, hearing a podcast, you name it. I mean, that's really great. I mean, for me, I personally wouldn't be able to tell that was not human from that little sample there. Some of them you can tell, like they're, they're, they're very, very good. It's actually the best. I mean, Murph AI is actually one of the best AI voices that I've actually come across. 
Sometimes you can tell a little bit that they're AI generated, but a lot of the time you can't. Anyway, that being said, let me show you how you can work with these voices and add them to your presentations and sync them up with your slides. So we're going to first of all select a voice. I'm going to go with this guy here, Theo. And now we need to enter our text in this box here. And this is the text he's going to speak for this particular slide. So if I generate his voice. Welcome to our pitch deck presentation. So it sounds pretty good. So we can change the style if we want to. If we want to change this to promo, let's see what this sounds like. Hit regenerate. Welcome to our pitch deck presentation. Okay, so also a really good voice. Um, calm. Welcome to our pitch deck presentation. <laughs> All right, so that's a bit slow. I'm going to stick with, um, let's go with promo. So I'm going to regenerate this. Welcome to our pitch deck presentation. So let's use this style voice. Now, if I want to add it to this particular slide, I now have the design selected or the slide selected here at the bottom, and I click add design. Now, if you watch that piece of audio, it's going to go below the slide. And now here, I can change the speed of this slide. So currently it's on for uh, five seconds. So I can adjust this, bring it down a bit. So now the voice narration is in line with the slide. So I'm going to adjust that slightly more. So maybe about here. And now we go to the next slide. So for slide number two, we're going to enter our text again. So I'm going to delete this and I can just copy and paste all of the things that were in the slide and get this guy, uh, Theo, to speak all the content. So if I paste all this in. OK, and now let's see what this sounds like. If I generate the audio, generate the voice. Problem one, give a striking overview of the problem and explain it briefly. Problem two. Elaborate on how this negatively impacts people and their experiences. Problem three, frame the problems effectively as it will set the stage of your entire pitch. Excellent. That's great. And it sounds really good as well. So I've got this slide two selected. Now I'm going to click on add design. And again, now look at the size difference here. So I need to select the template. Now go up to the top here and now change the timing here. So if I adjust this to need to be a bit more than that. Maybe 18 seconds. Yeah, bring it down a bit. So that's probably about perfect. And then we go to slide three and just do the same thing. So I'm not going to do all the slides because you can see how it's done. It's actually very easy. Now, once you've completed your presentation, we can watch the presentation. So if I come back and click on the first slide, so I go back to the beginning, and I come up to the top right here where it says present. And now here I've got multiple options. I'm going to leave it on autoplay, click the present button, and we can watch the presentation. Welcome to our pitch deck presentation. Problem one, give a striking overview of the problem and explain it briefly. Problem two, elaborate on how this negatively impacts people and their experiences. Problem three, frame the problems effectively as it will set the stage of your entire pitch. Okay, there you go. So that's how easy it is now to use Murph AI voiceovers in Canva with your designs. Now, if this video helped you out, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. And if you want to see a full review and demo of the Murph AI software platform, then this is the next video you want to watch.